in how to over. succeed in tropical gardening yes. and that's going to be our topic today and the reason i decided to do this session is because i we are in hawaii mm -hmm. and many times i have had people who moved to hawaii from the mainland who lived somewhere else another state let's say california yeah or they lived in Texas or they lived somewhere else and they moved to Hawaii to live and they keep on wondering how do I garden now most of them actually get puzzled mm -hmm. most of them mm -hmm. they feel this sense of overwhelm it's like they can't quite figure out this tropical climate thing because they were used to the seasons they were used to you know it's winter time the garden is asleep yes then they start preparing the garden in the spring and then they have the summer for the growth and then they have the fall to put the garden to sleep and then they have the december winter again mm -hmm. but now they're in the tropics and the climate of course is like 24 7. Mm -hmm. you can grow yes. things throughout and they can't just bring their their clock their gardening clock together and so we want to start by saying what is tropical gardening Yes. And tropical gardening is gardening under tropical climate. Mm. It's for those people who live, if you're relating to zones, anybody who is within zone 9 to 12 and above. Mm -hmm. When I used to live in the mainland, I worked for the University of Missouri, University of Minnesota, and University of Illinois. Those are the midlands, so it's as temperate as it can get. Mm -hmm. And so we always used to think about the seasons. You know, uh, and we knew if you're in, let's say, zone 5 or zone 6, there were certain times when you could start gardening. You know, go out and take your plants to, to the garden yes, yes. after winter. Yeah. And most of those early states, you can start off at April 15. April, April 15 mm -hmm. was the date when you could go out and take your seedlings out into the field and plant them. Because by then the winter had gone and there wasn't as big a, a, a danger for freezing. Mm -hmm. Then if you lived in slightly colder areas, then May 15th was the cutout date. That is the time when you can take out your seedlings, which you maybe have been harboring in your basement, mm -hmm. growing under mm -hmm. grow, <laughs> grow lights, and you wanted to plant them out in the field, then you could go out without that huge sense of danger mm. of frostbite, yeah, or yes, freezing. Yes. Now, when you live in the tropics, we don't have to think about that. So we are talking about now people who live in Africa, that's mm -hmm. tropical climate, Asia, some parts of Asia, India, some part, of course, Middle East, Mexico. Mm -hmm. yes. Most people who live in certain states in the U.S. like Florida, although Florida does get a mm -hmm. little cold sometimes. And of course, places like California, a little warm, Texas, Arizona, those are places that are slightly warm. It's not as cold. So right now, this is February. So we are in the tropics here in Hawaii. That's mm -hmm. why everybody comes to Hawaii to mm -hmm. visit us because it's cold out there. But when they come here, of course, the temperatures are okay. But again, the difference between temperate gardening and tropical gardening, mm -hmm. this is what we are talking about today, is the fact that like in the temperate, of course, like I said, you're, you're guided by the seasons. Yeah? yeah, yeah, that's right. Your growing season is guided by the seasons. But in the tropics, we are guided by most times long rains or short rains. Mm -hmm. It's the rainy season. Most of the factors that you're thinking about is either moisture or dryness sometimes, of course. There are other things we're going to talk about. But in terms of season, so in a tropical climate, like I remember, I'm originally from Kenya and i knew that we had the long rains mm -hmm. and then like last year they had lots of rain too much long rains <laughs> they were there forever yes, right. they, you yes. know they flooded the streets and carried cars and all that so sometimes you get too much rain but then you also have short rains so your season is guided by the rains when are the rains coming and when are, can you mm -hmm. go plant yeah That's so right. when in the tropics now there is also elevation Elevation matters, even mm -hmm. when you're in a tropical climate. I'm going to give another example here in Hawaii. I live near the beach, thank God. Right now it's too cold, so I'm appreciating <laughs> being near the beach. It's oh, yes. wonderful. At night we go for walks with my friend and it's just amazing. Of course the summer is a, it's a different story. That's when you hit the beach. Yeah, but right. 
if you live in a tropical climate like we are in, the elevation, like we've talked about in the past, as you go up, like even here in Maui, the highest point here is the Heliakla mountain, which is at 7,000 feet. So you're coming from zero feet above sea level at the beach, going up. And as you go up, the, cli the temperature changes. Oh, very much. Yes. yes. So the temperature changes. So you're in Kihe, where I live, near the beach. And there you can grow things almost throughout because yeah. the temperature is okay. Yeah. You sure. can grow both warm season vegetables like tomatoes, eggplants, sweet pepper, and potatoes. And as you, and you can also grow lettuce and peas and Swiss chard and kale in the winter time, whatever yes. you call the winter. But as you go up the elevation for people who live at 3000 feet and above, that is cooler, like here, or wherever you may be in, in the world, mm -hmm. the elevation changes the temperature and therefore sometimes you are dictated to what you can grow during the winter time, the cooler months. Mm. 